Hi everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I am going to be doing my first Soaring Photo Cards video in like three months. Just in case you missed my last video, the Baiyi haul, um, I have been absent for a little while, but now I'm back. I'm trying to make weekly videos. Already I'm running a little bit behind because I uploaded my last video like eight days ago, so this one's going to be more like a week and a half <laughs> after my last one, but that's okay. I'm really excited to put these photo cards away because 90% of these I've had for like two months and they've just been sitting and waiting for me to actually get to put them away, so I'm really excited to do that today. First things first, we have my like misc binder slash my bias binder. Um, I don't know if you'll remember, but I used to have a separate binder. I showed this binder for the first time actually in my last video with all of like my random photo cards for groups that I don't collect. But then I also had a separate binder for like people that I bias, but I don't collect anymore or I just don't collect all of their photo cards for. I decided to combine those binders because I need, first of all, I needed more A5 binders and there was no point for them to take up two different A5 binders. Um, and I figured it would like help fill up this binder a little bit more. So anyway, I no longer have like a bias binder and a misc binder. I just have this one misc binder. And I do have some cards that we can put in here today because I normally don't store like misc cards in videos, but I did store some high key cards in my last one. And I was talking to people on my Instagram and it seems like that's something that you guys were interested in seeing, so I'm just going to start storing them in videos. So, the first card I have is this Joe Yuri card from Glassy. I actually got this for free from a K-pop store, but I love Joe Yuri. She's one of my favorite soloists right now. I never really stand Eyes One. I think Eyes One was never, like, on my radar until after they disbanded. And it's kind of funny because now I stand, like, multiple different post eyes ones acts like joe yuri and then la seraphim but i just think that yuri's photo cards are so beautiful so i'll never say no to an opportunity <laughs> to get some joe yuri cards um okay and then i have literally so many txt nope this is not txt 17 cards two of these were given to me by my friend this joshua from harange i think and then this dk from fuck my life yes contrary to what it might seem like based on the photo cards on this page. Joshua is not actually my bias. He was my bias. DK is my bias. I just don't have as many DK cards as I have Joshua. Joshua is like my second bias, I would say. But for 17, usually I'll just like keep what I pull. Or if I really am not moved by a card, I'll like put it up for sale. But I also got their most recent comeback. What was it called? 7th Heaven, 17th Heaven. Um, and I got the carrot version because I just think these photo cards are so cute. Um, and I am keeping three of my four pulls, so I'm keeping this S coops, and I don't remember how I was gonna have it set up in here, I'm just gonna start throwing them in there. I also pulled a Woozy, and I think I'm trading him for Joshua, so that Joshua is gonna go here, I think. So yeah, I got Scoops, Hoshi, and Dino, and again, I don't even like, like 17 like that, but I think 17 might be the group that I have the most cards for in here now. And I'm even like trading for a 17 card, so maybe it's getting serious. Maybe I'm a bigger carrot than I even know. Okay, I do have one TXT card. Again, I just bought TXT's last comeback. This is from, I don't remember what it's called. Free Fall. TXT is my second favorite boy group after, well, okay, third favorite boy group after NCT and Rise. I have no interest in like collecting their photo cards. Is this where I was gonna put them? Sure. Like, I don't even know. My bias I think is Bumgyu, but I think if I was gonna collect TXT, I would collect Bumgyu and Yunjin just cause I think I might be double biased in them. I don't know. But chasing that feeling is, possibly their best title track okay maybe second after i know i love you i just can't believe that this is one of the title tracks that people are deciding not to like because it's so good anyway i have two vivis cards i have this una card from beam of prism again i got this for free at a k-pop store and then i have one more card for this binder another vivis card this is shinbi from summer vibe i bought a jewel case for summer vibe and this is what photo card I pulled so and she's so beautiful in it and I still have yet to ever pull an umji I don't know if I've talked about this before um but I have I think like five or six Vivas albums and I have never pulled umji this is the only umji photo card I have for Vivas but it was given to me by my friend and it's a pob from Summer Vibe the rest of these photo cards are all pulls and they are all Una and Shinbi so I don't know how that happened um why umg hates me so much but anyway that's this binder now i feel like that's had a lot of changes since like the last time you saw it i don't know next is my from us nine binder um i do have like a lot of from us nine progress that is going to be coming in like my next two 
storing photo cards videos ish for today i literally only have two and they're not even album cards i have two pods from from our memento box i don't even know what store these are from i think they're music korea but these were also free from the k-pop store so i got both of my biases and i thought they would look perfect on this page because i have two pops from unlock my world so maybe that can be my thing i collect one set of pops for my top two per era i still also have this jihan from our memento box weaver shop pop that i think i'm just gonna throw are these double-sided they're not i'm gonna throw on the back of this because i still want to keep it obviously i still need to find sarongs and then maybe once i do i'll actually like make it its own page but for now this is what i have for my Fremis 9 mini pop <laughs> collection. But yeah, that's literally all that I have for Fremis 9. Not even a single album card today. Okay, so for girl group today, I finally have WJSN cards I can put away. I think it's been like multiple storing photo cards videos since I had an unsell card, but I have three cards, wait, three? Two cards for this page. The first one is the secret card. I believe this is the key version just based on the little symbol on the back. So I'm going to put it up here. And just like with a lot of groups, I feel like all their earlier cards are like weird non-selfies. So I'm not a huge fan of most of the photo cards on this page, at least up until happy moment. But I do think this card is cute, even though it's one of those like that's like not an actual selfie. It looks like she was just pretending to take a selfie while somebody on like a professional camera like was actually taking the picture. But this is dream your dream. So now I have these two like columns on this page done. And I finally, finally have a card for this page. I don't know what it is about these three albums, but I have not been able to find any cards for this page until today. I have this would you please yellow back card. And I believe that I actually have one for the summer card. One of these, this one maybe. So by my next storing photo cards video, I should have two cards for this page. And then finally, I have one more card. I have this as you wish card, the black back. So I'm officially two thirds of the way finished with this page. I think, is this my most complete? I think this is my most complete page. Well, actually it's now tied for the beginning page, but I don't really count that because these cards are prettier. So this is really the one I'm the most complete with, even though all of these are crooked. I don't know how that happened. Okay, great. I still need this Sola. I thought I found a trade for it. I don't know. The person hasn't damned me back. I said not my half, they haven't sent out theirs. I don't know what's going on. Dreamcatcher, I still need to remake this ugly ass cover. I can't stand looking at it. I have one Road to Utopia card. This is the last concept card, the one where she's wearing black. I think once I finish this album, I'm gonna slowly, very, very slowly back collect more albums for Dreamcatcher. Um, emphasis on the slowly i'm gonna do like one album at a time but the further i get back the harder that's gonna be so we'll see i still haven't even finished their last comeback and they just had another comeback ootd and i literally haven't even i haven't bought a single album i haven't thought about any photo cards i don't even know what i'm gonna collect because this era there's 10 billion polka version cards so i it's giving me a headache thinking about dreamcatcher right now so i'm just gonna move on and for the first time in like forever i feel like i have a lot of Shein cards. It's been a while since I had good Shein progress. The first one I have is the last teddy bear card actually. So a while ago I was talking about how I knew I was missing the gift version card but I didn't really want to collect it so I was just gonna call it a day where I was but I went back and I changed my mind. <laughs> so I got the gift version card. The main reason I changed my mind was because they're really cheap because I think they come in an OT6 set if you buy the gift version so finding it wasn't that hard. So now I'm officially caught up up to teen fresh for teen fresh i have four cards yes i have four album cards first thing i have is this i think this is the bubble version card or one of the bubble version cards but this was one of the only trades that i actually got for my teen fresh pulls <laughs> the rest of them are still sitting up on my instagram rotting because nobody wants to trade with me i also have her other digipack card so that's gonna go here and at least now I have the Digipack cards out of the way. They were really easy because I think obviously the Digipack cards are cheaper. And I think the Digipack albums this time came with two photo cards instead of one. So that made them extra cheap. Um, and then I think these are both of her US cards. I am confused by the US exclusives for Stacey because they have these US cards, but they also have like a US exclusive card that's separate from these two. I don't know what the difference is and like how you would get one and not the other, but I have these. I don't really know the difference. I don't know if I'm gonna collect the like other US exclusive one that's different from these. Like I don't even know how to explain it to you because I don't understand it myself. But I have these two. Maybe I'll get the other one and put it here. 
I haven't really figured that out yet. Um, but the last card I have is for this extra page. I have her Hello82 exclusive, which I made a spot for right here. I was originally going to put it here. But I don't like having I don't like having pobs or like shop exclusives on the pages with my album cards. So she's gonna go on this page, which is my extra Shein page, also my Salem page. <laughs> because why would I have a separate page for both of these when they fit perfectly on a nine pocket page? I don't know. So yeah, that's what I have for Shein today. I literally have nothing else on the way though, so I need to get I need to get a move on. I need to get a move on because I feel like. <laughs> Any day now, they're about to have another Korean comeback. They just had a Japanese comeback. Haven't listened to it yet, but I've heard people saying that it's bad. So I'm a little bit nervous. For La Seraphim, I am very close to catching up with La Seraphim before they have another Korean comeback. I think I'm only missing like three cards, maybe four, and they're all Yunjin. <laughs> surprise, surprise, who would have guessed? Um, the first card I have today is for Unforgiven. I'm finishing the photo book cards because I have this last for the bloody rose version and the bloody rose version i know a lot of people are upset that the bloody rose version ended up being non-selfie cards because it's like the best concept but people want them to be selfies i don't care i think they're so cute and if they were selfies you wouldn't be able to tell that they have wings on so really they're geniuses for having them be non-selfies nothing for the compact versions but i do have i think two cards i have the last two qr cards that i was missing for Unforgiven. And not to spoil anything, but I should have these last two like normal Weavers cards either on the way or I have them on hand. I can't even remember. I have so many photo cards on hand. I think I have like three storing photo cards videos worth of cards. I think I talked about this last time, but literally I have so many photo cards. So this page should be done, theoretically, in a storing photo cards video or two. <laughs> but yeah, there's all the QR cards. Feel free to scan the backs because I sure haven't done it. That's everything for my girl group binder. Next is my Luna binder. I do have a lot of Luna cards today. Well, not necessarily like Luna cards, but like Luna cards, if you know what I mean. Um, I do have two Luna cards and they're actually um, cards for like a new collection that I haven't shown before. I was watching another K-Cluck YouTuber, Luna the World. I'll go ahead and put her YouTube handle on the screen so you can go watch her but i saw that she was doing like a mini ot12 like collection with these solo cards because she collects her top three just like i do um and then she's gonna have one photo card from each of the other members and i thought that was so perfect because i've been wanting to do something similar to that for a long time just with like a flip that set or something like that but when i saw her do it with like their pre-debut solos i was like that's so genius so that's now what I'm going to do. Um, and I do have two of them. And again, these I got for free at a K-pop store. It was just like God confirming to me that this was the right decision to make. So I have Chu and I have Heju. Um, and I'm not picky at all for which cards I want. Like I would like Vivi's balloon card, but I'm not picky. As long as I have one. And it doesn't have to be first press either. It can be reprint. I just want one card from their solo debut and just have like a full like nine pocket page. I think that would be so fun. So that's the start, or I guess the continuation of this. Um, I did have these cards previously, like on my extra Luna page. So that's how, where is it? Yeah, they were on this page. So that's where those came from in case you were confused <laughs> why you've never seen those before. That's literally all that I had for like normal Luna today. The next ones I have are for Odd Eye Circle. And for Odd Eye Circle, I only have one. I just have this one Jin Soul. This is 211, so we actually need to switch pages. And she's gonna go here. Um, I think I've said this before. I do actually have Odd Eye Circle complete, just not on hand. I have Odd Eye Circle and Lucemble complete all from the same group order manager so that should be coming to me sometime soon so again <laughs> look out for that you know what i should do actually i don't know would any of you be interested in like a an entire storing photo cards video that's just dedicated to luna i don't know if anyone would watch that but if there's anybody out there who's interested in that let me know because i'm willing to i'm willing to do it but speaking of Lucemble, I do finally have some cards for OT5. So these are actually my pulls. The cards that I have today are my pulls from my albums. Because I bought one copy of each version. Um, so I just got three random photo cards for each version. For the Wish version, I have a Vivi card. And I'm just going to put these wherever, really. And then I have these two Go On cards. Um, once I get, like, OT5, I might do some, like, switching around <laughs> and figure out what's the best order for all of them but for now i'm just gonna kind of put them wherever i had a hyunjin a yojin and a heju 
I do think the dream version, oh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I do think the dream version is my favorite version or like, yeah, concept wise. If you can't tell by the fact that I made my cover out of the dream version, I just think, I just, you know, you know me in colors. If a concept is colorful, you are so colorful. Yeah, we have good chemistry. A concept with a little bit of pink in it is gonna do it for me every single time, let's just say. Okay, and then the space version, I've got a Yojin, a Vivi, and a Go On. Oh, and when I say I have Wusambo OT5 done, I just mean for these photo books because for the Ever Music versions, I literally have, I think, four. <laughs> I have four of these cards. I lied, I have three. <laughs> um, I did buy two copies of the Ever Music version. So back before I knew I was going to collect OT5, I... What is this version? Is this the space version or the... No, yeah, this is the space version. But yeah, back before I knew I was going to collect OT5, I only bought enough albums to complete Hyunjin because I thought I was only going to be collecting Hyunjin. Um, so I just bought two Ever Music versions. And then shortly after, I was like, no, I'm going to collect OT5. So I need to figure out a way to get more Ever Music versions, especially because they're not going to be as easy to buy as the photo book cards because like no stores are doing like pops for the Ever Music version. So we're going to see. Oops, that's not the right one. But lucky for me, in my two copies that I do have, I did pull two of the egg cards. And then I pulled a dupe of this Hyunjin, actually, but I traded her for... Actually, the Jinsel. <laughs> the Jinsel that I just put away, I traded my extra this card for. But now I'm like, I should have just kept it and traded a different Ever Music version, but whatever. I do have one more Ever Music, like album coming because my friend she saw Lucemble. I was supposed to see Lucemble. I'm sorry for yelling. I had tickets to go see Lucemble because they were coming to my state but they canceled the show and I was literally so upset. I was so excited to see them. Anyway before I get too ahead of myself I have these two QR versions because um Vivi and Heju are the two that I pulled like their member versions for so um but yeah i was supposed to see lucemble i didn't end up going my friend who lives in or lives near atlanta she went to the atlanta show obviously and she bought me a signed hyunjin ever music version so that should be coming any day now and hopefully the cards in there will be different from the three that i already have but it would just be my luck if they <laughs> were one of these yeah i need to get my hands on a yojin and a go on ever music version hopefully just to help me out a little bit. The next thing I have in here is Chu. Cause I am collecting all of Chu's cards. And actually, fun fact, the day that I'm filming this, December 7th, Chu was supposed to be coming to, again, my state. And I bought tickets. <laughs> this was like shortly after Lucemble got canceled. So I bought tickets to Chu. I was like, well, if I can't see Lucemble, at least I can see Chu. Last week, they sent an email saying that the show got canceled. <sighs> I don't know what it is with these luna shows and canceling all their tour dates in denver but it's literally it's causing me real emotional turmoil and they need to stop it like if you're not gonna end up coming to denver just don't tease me like that <laughs> i was so excited anyway for chu <sighs> i have three copies on the way to me right now um from a group order manager from live shout out to live but i did buy another copy because i was too excited and antsy to wait for my three copies to come so these are the pulls that i got i think these are i don't know which version these are i think these are the wind version so i'm gonna put them away like they are and if i'm wrong i can fix it later but yeah i joined a group order from uh make star so i'm gonna have all three of the make star pre-order benefits um fun fact i only need one of them i'm only gonna be collecting one of them and i actually already have it <laughs> because i bought this two album from a K-pop store and the pop that they were giving away for the album was Make Stars. I'm just gonna have three extra Make Star pops that I don't need, so I'm gonna try to resell them because um it just worked out this way that I only needed one pop to complete two nine pocket pages. So I mostly joined the group order for the albums. So now I'm just gonna have three extra pops. Um and then I do have one more card. This is actually her lightstick keychain card. Here, I'll show it. I bought this because I saw it at a K-pop store, um, and I don't even have Chu's light stick. This is supposed to be like the the little like wristlet that you can add to your light stick as decoration. I don't even have her light stick. I was gonna buy it because I thought I was gonna go see her on tour, and we all know what happened there. So I'm not gonna buy her light stick anymore. So I just have her light stick band. Um, I just thought it was cute, and I used it as a phone like charm for a couple days. But now I also have this photo card. It's my only extra Chu card, so I don't want to make a whole, like, 
dedicated extra chew card page so for now i'm just gonna put it on the back i don't know what i'm gonna do with that maybe one day i will sell it or one day i will have more chew cards to actually have an extra chew card page so for now she's just gonna live back there um and that's everything that i have for luna slash lucembo slash all circle slash chew so second to last binder this is my nct binder i can't remember if you've seen this cover before i made this like somewhat recently but i don't remember if it was in a video or not anyway this is my boy group binder slash nct rise binder um and i have nothing for johnny i haven't even set up no i have never mind this is for fact check but i haven't bought a single photo card i think i have one album and i pulled a tail and no one wants to trade my tail for a johnny so i'm kind of just like I don't know. I'm waiting for someone to host a group order for all of the cards so I can just claim all of Johnny's. I don't know. We'll see what happens there. I do have uh, NCT Dream cards. I'm going to finally be putting away more um, ISTJ cards. I only have two right now, which is crazy. I think in my last Drawing Photo Cards video, I talked about how I was collecting top three for ISTJ, so I won't go over it again. But yeah, I'm collecting Jamin, Chonla, and Jisung. For this page, I have Jamin's introvert card. So now both of his like normal photo of the cards are finished i think in total for all of like istj i'm only missing like three cards mm, maybe four and they're mostly jisung i think this is his poster version this is i think my least favorite istj card i can't explain why i think his outfit is so silly though like his little bow tie that he's wearing okay so jamin's done for this page um i have a unit card from the vending machine this is Hey Chan Jano and Chon La. So I think I think I'm gonna do an age order. So they'd go in the middle. Wait, no. They'd go on the end. Because Mark, Renjun, and then Jano. Okay. Never mind. I hate double signing. I literally hate double signing cards. I wish that I could make them have their own page. And I might collect the Japanese exclusive. For ISTJ and that way I can like maybe justify having the units with the Japanese cards on like their own separate page but anyway for now they're just gonna live back here and as for my first non Jamin ISTJ card I have this Jisung QR card um I joined a group order like back when ISTJ was announced um for the QR version and the S mini version um in hopes that i would get jamin obviously because this was before i was going to collect ot3 but my group order manager didn't pull any jamin for the qr version so i got my second choice which was jisung um and again at the time when she told me my polls i wasn't collecting my top three yet so i was like oh i'm gonna have to trade jisung for jamin and then i got to thinking i was like why not use this to my advantage and just keep the jisung card and make it an excuse to start my top three collection so really this card is to blame for me collecting three times the amount of cards that i was going to originally so but sorry this card is also to blame because are you are you seeing this like are you joking me i love their vending machine cards specifically jamin and jisong's have the best vending machine cards out of all ot7 so even before I was like, I have to collect my top three, I was like, I have to find a way to get my hands on this G song. I'm so excited for like these pages to fill up too, because I think this row is going to look so pretty. Um, okay, what is this? Oh, this is his target card maybe? Um, so I guess that's all I have for album cards. Yeah, I think this is his target card. I believe I pulled a mark for the target version. Wait, what does the back say? I love you with all my heart. He gets me. Jamin just gets me like no other. This page is like my pop page slash US exclusives page slash fan sign page slash whatever else I want it to be. I do have this K-Town pop for the... Why is this sleeve so filthy? What the hell? I think this is for the poster version. I do have a couple other <laughs> Jamin ISTJ pops that you may have seen in my Mercari haul that are going to go on this page also i'm starting like a mini mini jamin pop collection so this is what i have so far and yeah i consider these pops i know some people consider these album cards but to me a walmart exclusive is the same as a k top for you exclusive you know what i mean but yeah that's everything that i have for jamin i have nothing for henry i have nothing for on my youth <laughs> I haven't even set up for it. Like, at least for fact check, I had stuff set up. I'm gonna get to it. I'm getting to it. They luckily only had three cards for On My Youth, so... And Henry is usually a very easy member to complete, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna freak out. Like, it'll be fine. For Golden Age, I have a few things. First things first, Henry archiving card. Surprisingly, 
you know, despite the fact that Hendry is like the easiest member in all of NCT to collect ever, I still haven't finished him. I think I'm still missing the, his yearbook card and then everything else should be done for him. Usually I finish him within like two to five business days, but it's taking me a while. Um, I do have Johnny's yearbook card. I actually pulled two of this. I went to Target to get the Target exclusives. I bought two of them. The albums that I got were exact dupes. <laughs> so I got the same Johnny yearbook card and then I also pulled two jisung target cards and i decided to keep one so you'll see him in a second but for this page i only have hendry's transport card again he's just too easy he's so easy oh also if i have a pink sleeve somewhere it means that i have that card i just have it like displayed in like a deco top loader or a photo card holder anything like that so that i do have this jamin i just have him elsewhere for the moment so that's what that means the rest of the cards that i have for nct are like extra cards and i did make spots for them already actually because i have a bunch of just random well it's literally all jisung and then one taeyong <laughs> these two jisung cards were given to me by my friend who used to collect jisung and now she doesn't anymore so she just gave these to me um and then this is the target card that i was talking about i pulled two of it and it's so cute that i had to keep one of them and i'm trading the other one for a Jamin Target card, so. And then I bought a Taeyong S Mini recently. Where am I gonna put all of these? Okay, I guess this Taeyong is gonna go here. I don't remember how I have these pages organized. I guess it's by release date. What's supposed to go here? Oh, the hot sauce card. See, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think instead of having them in age order, I have them by like album release date. So these are hot sauce cards and then these are golden age cards. What's here? Oh, wait, no, I don't know what- Oh, I have another Taeyong <laughs> Shalala card that I have in a, a top loader. So I'm gonna put- I'm gonna put my Jisongs here. I am this close to picking up Jisong fully. And I know I've talked about collecting like OT7 Dream before, but I mean like fully like I'm gonna pick up his NCT U cards, I'm gonna pick up Pobs. Like I saw the NCT movie last night and Jisong, even though he had his three seconds of screen time, he changed my life. And he is so good at taking photo cards. I just feel like I'd be doing a disservice to the world if I didn't collect him. Um, the last thing for this binder is my Rise collection. I did make this Chitaro collection cover recently. I'm not mad at it. I think it's kind of cute. I'm not going to be putting away his like album cards today because that's going to be in a future video. But I do have three random ass cards that I'm going to be storing. First things first, this is a Keton pop, I think. Yeah, from Get A Guitar. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't want to make an entire... Well, maybe I will. Hold on. I was going to say I don't want to make an entire extra card page, especially because I have literally nothing on that first page. But they're about to have a comeback in January, so it'll fill up soon enough. So yeah, I'm gonna put the Shataro here. Actually, yeah, I don't care. Okay, and then I also have this Unsuck card. Unsuck is my second bias from Rise, and I pulled this basketball card, and this basketball card was the main reason that I wanted to collect my top three for Rise initially. I'm not doing that yet. I might still eventually collect my top three. I just don't know who my third bias would be, to be honest with you. But anyway, I pulled this card in one of my Rise albums, and of course I had to keep it. It's so random. Like, why does he have a basketball? I know that's kind of like the concept, but I just feel like, what a random concept. I feel like he could have been holding a uh, guitar instead of a basketball and it would have made a lot more sense for like the lore. Cause the songs, it's not, if you want something to play with, get a basketball. Anyway, I have this Sohi card. I think this is a Walmart cover. It's either the Walmart cover or the Walmart exclusive, but this card changed my life. <laughs> I'm not even a Sohi girl like that, but even the back message, American hamburgers are really good. There were many beautiful places. <laughs> It literally gets me, so of course I had to keep it. I don't even think he would be my third bias. I just, I don't know. The card moved me, so I have to keep it. So yeah, I have three random ass Rise cards before I even have put away his actual album cards, but yeah, anyway. And I'll probably fill these with white fillers later, so it's not blank, but for now, <laughs> that's my, here's my Rise collection. That's everything that I have for this binder. I do want to remake my Jamin cover also. I don't know, we'll see. And last but not least, we have Twice. And for once, I think this might be the smallest stack of Twice that I've ever had. I literally have four cards. This is four Twice cards, but it's okay. The first card I have is for Fancy. <laughs> the first of four. Is it this page? Yes. So I'm gonna be finishing this row today because I have Dahyun's little fancy straw thing. Is all this is a straw? Maybe it's not a straw, a little light stick. 
not a, like a light stick, but like, you know, those like things that you like break and like you shake like that, but they like made it say fancy. I don't know. I don't know what they're holding, but whatever it is, <laughs> I have Dahyuns. And then we can skip right to more and more. I have one card for these OT9 sets. I have Jihyo. So I'm just missing the two maknes and I will be done with this page. I think this is the, yeah, I'm the closest for this set than I am for the other two sets. I'm really excited. And maybe when I finish these, I will collect OT9 for the rest of the cards. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I just, I'm riffing right now. Sometimes I just say things that I don't mean. Let's just move on. The last cards I have are for Formula of Love and they're not even like real album cards. They're both <laughs> for this page. I just have Momo and Jihyo's scratch cards. <laughs> so kind of a lame Formula of Love day today, but these are like super low prio for me, but they were really cheap. The person who was selling them to me. If you're watching this video, I think they watch my videos. If you're watching this, thanks so much. <laughs> so I just need Jungyeon and Mina, and then I will be done with the scratch cards. And then that'll be the first OT9 set that I'm completing. Like, well, obviously, excluding the ones that I had already finished before I started to collect OT9 Formula of Love. But yeah, that's actually literally all that I have today. <laughs> what a quick little twice section. I'm sorry to the onces. If you only watch me for twice, I'm sorry. And now look at my empty tray. Well, thank you so much for watching. Sorry, I was kind of all over the place. I'm not quite back into the swing of things yet, like when it comes to filming and stuff. So, but either way, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys all soon. Bye. Bye.